Hey, what's up, citizens? This is President Bocelli back with another episode of Paper Mario. So, we are leaving the Goomba Village, and now we're gonna read a sign. Beware of Goombas! <gasps> and then it comes right off the billboard. Hey! <clears throat> Let's see. Hey, Mario! During a battle, you can change the order we attack in with Z. Crud, what's the Z button on this? I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep it in mind, okay? Okay, it is what we know as the L button, actually. Actually, yes, go ahead and tattle on the Goomba so we can show off what it does. So, <laughs> this is a Goomba. Goombas are what we are what you call small fries. Actually, they're pretty much the smallest fries. Hey, wait! I'm one of them. Max HP 2, attack power 1, defense power 0. You can jump on them or whack them with a hammer. These guys are old school. They've been around since you and Super Mario Bros. Mm -mm. Yeah, and then you get an HP bar. And that is awesome! Okay, so here is probably the, the first battle I'm going to be cutting out because battles with Goombas are not particularly interesting, so whoop! Alright, and we're back, which uh, might be surprising because, look, I'm still in the battle! What's up with that? Well, I just remembered I didn't really show off, um, yes, it, it's, it's kind of pathetic, but I'm going to show off Goombario's headbutt an animation. There you go. That's how Goombario attacks. And that is the only reason I included another battle in here. Another battle with some Goombas, I should say. Ah, we have a battle with a para Goomba here. Yes, yeah, Skip. Whoosh. Wait, or not. I lied. Because this is a great opportunity to show off the power jump. And how I can one hit KO that para Goomba. Doing three damage. Alright, there we go. Bonk! <laughs> okay, anything else I want to show off? Or am I gonna psyche out again? Well, yeah, this is definitely skipped. Whoop. And we're back! Yeah, we took uh, quite a little bit of damage from that last battle. Yeah, we're down to four. <gasps> down to four HP. So, now would be the time to use this. However, I get the impression we're about to come up on a healing block. Oh, got the close call back. Did you listen to that music? Doing a little cat call. I did not see what that badge actually did. I'm so focused on, on that cat call. Uh, okay, when Mario's in danger, uh, enemies attacks fa sometimes fail to attack. Enemies sometimes fail to attack, is what I should have been saying. Come on, come on, come on! Bam! Okay, whoosh! Alright, and we're back. Yeah, there was actually three Goombas in that battle. But hey, now we came across... ...an HP block. Which I thought that was gonna happen. Hey, hey, hold it right there! Yeah! You, yeah, you! Suspicious guy! Don't move! Oh, uh, listen to that music! Mm. They mean business! <gasps> they have a skin condition! Aha! You're Mario! I knew it! You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot! It's a direct order from Goomba King! That's right! I'm sorry, but the only way by is through the Goomba Brothers! That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba! Let's get him, Blue Goomba! Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother! I mean, how can you not love the music here? 
Okay. Well, for some reason, I think I should log these two in. So let's get a let's get a reading on Blue Goomba. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Max HP six, attack power one, defense power zero. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his little than his brother. All right, so I should probably focus my attacks on Blue here, so I only take attacks from one of the Goomba brothers. I think um, I can do two power jumps on him. I think I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Mario, how you like some of this? Oh wow, one HP. But then again, they are tag teaming me. Boop. No, 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 Goomba, no, my little brother, you'll pay for that, Mario. And you know what? Why not? Let's tattle on the red one. This is Red Goomba. He's the owner of the two notorious Goomba brothers. Max HP 7, attack power 1, defense power 0. The Goomba King ordered him to try to stop you. You can take this guy, no problem. He has just a little more HP than he, an ordinary Goomba. You almost quadruple as much. I mean, I mean let's be real here. Bump. Okay. This is going to take a little while. But again, turns go super, super fast. You get done with everything less than... Well, now that you have a partner, maybe not 10 seconds now. Maybe like 15. <gasps> Nobody puts me in the danger zone. Nobody! Does it look like I have sexy volleyball montages to you? Yeah, the only ball I'm hitting here is your face! Mm. Uh-oh, yeah, Mario didn't do it that time. Yeah, get, I'll let you go for now. Don't want to use that just yet. All right, and we are healed. And now we just, uh, just just go ahead and save here. Okay, I believe I know what's coming next, or maybe not. Eat a mushroom to gain your energy. <gasps> There's a trap! There's a trap! Okay. Anyways, um, whoosh. All right, and we're back. Goomba King's Fortress ahead. Oh, it's all dark and scary. I don't like this place. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! Yeah. Hey, look, Mario, see that building over there? I'm pretty sure there used to be a bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. Don't laugh, it's not polite. So, Mario, it's true, you've made it this far. I respect you for that. 
Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to it that you advance no farther. You hear that, Mario? No farther, not one step. Are you scared, little man? <laughs> yeah, you're scared, all right. You wanna say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet your rap, Mario? You better be. Beat him up, King Goomba. He's got your back. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario, I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Brothers first, don't you think? They must be pretty weak since we finished the, uh, beating them up back there. Yeah, they only have two HP each. And I know a secret. So, why does a tree have a little bandage on it? Because you can hit it. And bam! Dead! Dead! Now we'll tattle on King Goomba. This is Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him! I mean, damn! <laughs> he looks really powerful! <laughs> Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. He's the boss of Red Goomba and Blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? You're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he ate to become so big. I'd like to be a little bigger, too. Oh, you just haven't hit puberty yet, Goombario. Yeah, I can take him out in uh, two turns. Powder! Hit the Bunku! <laughs> Did he just use low sweep on me? Well, too bad for you that I am not particularly heavy. Bam! You're dead. And we finally get a level up. So, um, yep. Whenever you level up, you get to choose one stat to increase. I always like to do HP because, you know, being able to survive for longer periods of time is generally a good thing. Anyways, oh, what? How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Kill! Victory! Yay! Star Shard! Uh, Red Goomba, you're, you're positive that you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba. I, I mean, of course, King Goomba. I hit it in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the- You idiot! You didn't hide it in here! Mario will find it for sure! Uh, oh, oh, do you think we- You know, you might be right. King Goomba, we- Maybe we ought to try to trick Mario before he tries to- Okay, uh, sorry, I thought I was gonna say something different. Okay, there we go. Switch! Uh, Mario! Good fight and all that! I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understood? You- you what?! You already pressed it?! Oh no! Ow, that voice is kind of destroying me right now. Thank goodness for water. A bit of womp 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 womp. Goodbye! We're blasting off again! Look, the bridge! Now we can cross it and continue our journey. Alright! You're so cool! Son of a bitch! Of course, I didn't see the uh, Goomba Brothers going off anywhere. Probably just, you know, peeing on the floor out of sheer 
terror. <laughs> Back in the castle. Ah! Oh. Okay, there's the shadow. You got a super shroom! A, a truly super mushroom restores 10 HP. Again, it sounds so small. But, hey, if it does the job. Oh, Cammy is not pleased. Save and continue, yes. Uh, we're not over with this episode just yet. Ah. Good. Meanwhile, back at Bowser's castle. <laughs> Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking, I've been looking for you. I report your evilness. Mario defeated the Groomer King. He's headed for Toad Town right now. <laughs> what? Unbelievable. <laughs> what was Cooper King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily. Tch, what a whip. <laughs> Cammy Cooper, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? <laughs> please, please, your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You can beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. <laughs> yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Kuba, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? <laughs> Please, don't worry yourself! Each is held separately, and each is carefully guarded by our hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the Star Spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest Star Spirit to Mario? Is that one at... It's that one at Koopa Brothers Fortress, right? Mario somehow reaches there. Can he, uh, the Koopa Brothers defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Teenage Mutant Ninja Koopas! It come the Koopa Brothers! Uh, uh oh yeah, we're the coolest of Koop! <laughs> Kevin Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? <laughs> that Koopa King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Psh, get real, King Bowser! Yeah, the Koopa King was huge, but he was a total wimpola! Well, nothing like him! See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. <laughs> Excellent! That's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Brothers! Jaw King, that special attack you do so well! <laughs> yes, ma'am! Ready, everybody? Oh, oh! That, this is, oh! How'd you like it? King Bowser, how was it? Oh yeah, excellent, <laughs> really. I'm not easily impressed either. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. <laughs> we'll take him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Brothers, how... <laughs> Sorry, still Koopa Brother voice. <laughs> About the Captain Star Spirit I've locked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Um, no way. Sir, you know we're here, and so... You idiots! Use your heads, get back to the fortress, and guard that star spirit! Whew. And... I got some sleepy sheep! Woo! If it works, it makes all enemies sleep for a little while. If it works, though, that's the key. Let's see, I did see the spring there. Let's go on top of here and... <gasps> chest! You got the hammer throw badge. Wow! Hits one enemy with the hammer no matter where the enemy is. Hmm. That could be useful. Actually, can I attach it right now? Um, I do have only three BB, so yeah, I can do it. 
All right. Time to explore Toad Town. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in uproar. The princess kidnapped, the fairy castle uprooted. It's Bitland. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Okay, I'm having a near irresistible impulse to go and talk to everyone. Oh, salutations, you are Mario, are you not? Of course I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure meeting you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time because I'm so well read. I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll, hap I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Then how about this? So it is told that far away, at the very top of the sky, there exists a star haven where stars make their home. And star haven, there's a treasure called a star rod. According to legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called star spirits. Using the magical star rod, whose star spirits grant the wishes of everyone in the world. That's why when we make a wish to the night sky, it comes true. It's all thanks to the star spirits and the star rods. If there's anything else you wish to know, please feel free to ask. Not anymore right now, but hey, backstory! Uh, let's check out the item shop. You're just like... You want help? What? How can I help you? You know, I don't need anything right now. I want to save up my coins. I mean, come on, I have to talk to this guy. Can, can you blame me? Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He is going to come back a very, very strong man. We will wait here, right here, until our master returns. Waiting is part of our training. Yeah, I mean, let's just uh, kind of fly around here a little bit. No, you are not interesting. Let's see. Billboard. Toe Town News Flash. Princess Peach kidnapped. Castle uprooted. A few days ago, Princess Peach's castle was stolen. She was inside and is presumed kidnapped. The whereabouts of the princess are unknown, and where the castle once stood, there's now a gaping hole in the ground. According to witnesses, the castle rose into the sky. As soon as we get new information, we'll post follow-up reports on this board. This was... Ted Toder on Toad News. Good night, everyone. Merlin is out. I said Merlin is out, so he must be out. I'm telling you, Merlin is out. Out. Sorry, I got a little excited there. I'm telling you, Merlin is out. Okay, so nothing else there. So let's check out the post office. Hmm. Greetings, the name's Paracetti. I deliver letters. Oh, that's it. Yes, hello, this is the post office. You can read any letters that uh, arrive for you or for your other party members. Please drop by now and then uh, to check and see if you received any mail. Well, uh, oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? See, this is actually really cool. Yeah, you're, you're actually uh, getting letters for your party members, you know, kind of fleshing them out a little bit. Uh, you know, the red and blue uh, Goombas. Okay, a letter from them. Here you go! Goomba, y'all. Yeah, you are a lot stronger than you look. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes! We'll be waiting. Red and blue Goomba Brothers. We'll keep the letters for you. Come by, come on by anytime you want to read some letters. Uh, 
Yes, I would always love to save. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, just wondering if I need to regain some HP. No, I do not. I'm good. Screw you, Toad House. I'm going to another house. Wow. These are totally just a uh, just a band of uh, ruffian toads. <laughs> it's dangerous out there. I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope, no go. Sorry, but no. You're fine. Huh? She has a gardening apron on. Water and dirt, sunshine power, beautiful plants, beautiful flowers! Hello, hello, my name is Minty, and please enjoy the beauty of the flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here, supposedly. Babulbs have the only known seeds. This is what a babulb looks like. If you find a babulb, could you get seeds for me? Babulb, 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 babulb. I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. We gotta spin everywhere. Hey, mister, you're a customer, aren't you? Dad's preparing to open the shop soon, so I guess you gotta wait a while. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I want to talk to him. Hey, what's up? Good to meet you, bud. Ropes the name. I'm starting me up a little business in Toe Town. I'm still setting up, though. I want to see you back in here when we open, all right? Now, is it just me, or do these two look like Joe Camel? Yes, uh, you know, the cigarette mascot. These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but they all came down when that earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of town with all the scattered wood. Don't worry, we're restacking it as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us while we get everything in order. Yes, to stack straight wood will take so long Um, that, yeah. Uh, let's see, was there another house over here? Yes. Alright, so yeah, uh, pretty much the rest of this video is just exploring Toad Town. Yep, they're in a house. Earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking. The ground of the houses, I fell right over. It was so horrifying that I'd just like to forget it ever happened. Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tidied up when my darling's at home. My dad works at the castle, so he's not at home usually, but now the castle's gone. So, he's home. When I said I'm glad his dad's at home, I got scolded. What's up with that? Okay, that's kind of messed up. Princess Peach was kidnapped, so I'm going to save her. But I'm um, telling me I had to be a good boy to stay home. How come? This is the west entrance to town. In case you couldn't tell, it's the main gate. Fancy gate and the star emblem on the ground are symbols of this fair town. Give the village where my house is is a brief journey west from here. You'll find a very smart toad named Rusty living in this town. He does a lot of useful information for adventurers. You'll also find shops that sell various items. Oh yeah, there's also the dojo. There we go. And I'm just trying to go down the pipe. And go back home. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Should I try an Italian accent? I don't think that... No. No. <laughs> Whoa, Mario, it's you. Good to see you. That, that's the extent I'm going to do it. And you're all right. After all, that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquakes had started, so I managed to escape in time. Oh? Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario. Nice to meet you. Oh, I see. Great, just great. Well, you're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. 
See, someone has to look after this house, so I can't leave. Oh, well. Take care of Mario, okay? Okay, Luigi. Peace. Anything over here? I do have some bushes. And a tree. Nothing in the tree. Shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake that bush. That sounds so wrong. And, uh, yeah, stat board. Cool. Here's a box where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. Hmm. Well, this looks a little conspicuous, doesn't it? Just a random loose square on the ground. Up, oh, check the bush. Okay, nothing in the bush. Alright then. I don't know if this is actually faster to just go spinning, spin, spin, spin. Hold on, let, let's let's do a little test. One. Okay, so I'm just past the green toad in about one second. One. It's probably about the same wave. Let, let's be honest here. I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow! I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know, Luigi made it out along with uh, maybe a few others, but everyone else was taken. Whoa. Alright, so we're going to the area behind the castle. Ooh. That is beautiful music. Looking for something and drop by Maloo. lovely's place. There we go. Let's check around the house first. Nothing really. See, so at this very... You know, it's a very interesting look looking place. It's very mysterious. You know, otherworldly, really. And, you know, the music just really serves to emphasize that. Ah, oh, my, my, hello there, Mario. This spot is a little tight for fortune telling. If you want your fortune read, talk to me over the counter. Ah, my, my, I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Merlovely. I'm a stunning huh, fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My, my, tell me, shall I read your fortune? Sure. No. My, my, are you sure? If ever you seek something, please call upon me again. I, I actually have to jump up the stairs. This is beyond annoying. Oh, uh, we have the little baby fortune teller under our pigeon sticks. I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collect star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. How about it? Let's swap. Which badges do you want to swap for? So I can get attack FXA, pay off, and chill out. Ah, uh, did you change your mind? I see. Okay, so hey, good to know. Come back here of star pieces um, to give to that little baby dude. Uh, and also come here if I need a fortune telling. Let's see. I'm not gonna really look around here. That's I think it's gonna take a little too a little bit too long. Oh, uh, there he is! There's the main star man himself. Welcome, Mario. Oh, we've been waiting for you. 
Where are the seven star spirits? Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please, listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. Oh, sorry, that's right, it's kind of hard for him to speak right now. So, the Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend! When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. <laughs> it is the responsibility of the seven star spirits to keep the star rod safe and use it properly. We must get the star rod back from Bowser and return it to its rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He's terrible to behold. Once we seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are... Uh, alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're only there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Palace Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario, you are our last hope, and we will... Mar Mario, looks like uh, things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. And I think this is a perfect place to stop. So hey, thank you very much for watching Fair Citizens. If you like this video, uh, please make sure to click that like button and uh, help out this series, help out my channel. Um, feel free to comment on anything that you want, whether it's something about the game, something about how I did the video, anything, please, just feel free to comment. Uh, share this video with other people um, if you think they'll like it. And finally, make sure to subscribe to this channel and to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Links to which are in the description below to stay updated on this series and my other videos. I have a little something for everyone. Again, thank you very much for watching, and this has been President Vocelli, signing off.